In this video I will show you how to correct uh, the initial servo positions for the Rapiro robot in case you made some mistakes during assembly. For example, when I power on my Rapiro robot, you will see that the robot is making noise and that the arms are not in a correct position, the head is not on center, same as the waist, and the feet are not uh, sitting in a proper position either. By uploading a new Arduino sketch to the Arduino we are able to make small corrections and rectify the positions of the servo. Because I'm having a Raspberry Pi already installed in the Rapiro I need to power it off uh, before trying to upload a sketch. To upload a sketch you connect a micro USB cable at the back of the robot and connect this to your computer. now on the computer and there are two things you will need uh, to be able to program the Rapiro robot. The first thing is uh, the Arduino IDE. You do this by going to the Arduino uh, website and clicking download and you can then download the IDE uh, for your operating system. After downloading make sure you install it and after that you can go to the Rapiro website Rapiro.com and in the downloads you will find the sketch. Uh, if you click here you will go to the GitHub where the Arduino sketch is available for download. You can click on the right side here to download zip and this will download a zip file with inside the Arduino sketch for the robot. I've done this already and I have it on my desktop here. I extracted the zip file and inside you will find the Rapiro uh, Eno sketch. You open it with the Arduino IDE. And there you have all the code to program your Rapiro. It is important uh, to set the board to Arduino Uno the port inside the, uh, the Rapiro is UNO compatible, so make sure you select this one. And once you connect uh, the Rapiro, the port should appear here. We'll see this later on when I connect the robot. Okay, so I'm taking the USB cable, which we connected earlier to the robot, and I'm plugging it, plugging it in into the computer. We see that the Rapiro eyes light up but it's not moving because the main power supply, the 12 volt power supply, is not connected so the servos are not powered. We should now see uh, the ports appearing, so here we see a USB serial device and we make sure it's selected. Inside the code um, there are lines here which are used uh, to adjust the servo positions. So by default everything is set to zero being the center position or what is assumed to be the center position of the servo and uh, we can adapt this to make sure that the Rapiro um, stands correctly uh, when booting up. I've done the exercise before and I came up with the following values for my robot so I'll just copy them and put them in the sketch And so we see that I had to make some uh, corrections to, well, <laughs> quite a lot of servos. Um, the head needed to be adapted, the waist, the two shoulders, because the arms are way back, uh, and then um, the pitch on the feet had to be corrected as well. So once you have made your modifications, you can upload the sketch by pressing the upload button, and you should see a message at the end that the upload has finished. The eyes of the robot will turn off while uploading the sketch and as soon as the sketch is uploaded the eyes will uh, light on again. Okay so we see that uh, the upload is done. It's also giving a warning about low memory that's because the sketch has a lot of codes and there's not a lot of memory left but that's okay it works just fine. So with the new sketch updated with the sketch updated, 
Uh, let's power on the robot and see how this affects the position. We see now that the robot stands straight, the head is straight, uh, the waist also, the feet and the arms. The robot is not making the noise anymore, that's because the servos are now properly uh, aligned and there's no pressure on the servos trying to push them uh, in another direction. So that's how you correct uh, the position or the initial position of your Rapido robot. Thanks for watching.